this. Um, I'm gonna show you my five step process on making crispy, clear vocals using stock plugins in FL Studio. Now, if you're using Logic Pro or any other music software, stay tuned because these concepts you're going to be able to do in all softwares and you're gonna achieve clear, crispy vocals every single time. Let's hear the dry, unmixed version. Why you break me? You just play me. Hey, you did it, nigga, really fucking say. I'm going to sync the beat down so we can hear a lot more things. Why you break me? You just play me. Hey, you did it, nigga, really fucking say. You still love me. Now you hate me. Nice, we brought it down five decibels. My second trick is deductive and additive EQ. We're going to put fruity parametric EQ too so we can visualize the vocal. Why you break me? Lift up this bell shape on the EQ, and we're gonna go to the same color right here. We're gonna go all the way down to this small little circle, and we're gonna move it to the left to make it smaller. This is going to make it so we can find certain frequencies that are good or bad. Hey, you did it, nigga, really fucking shady. third trick is to add more top end and all we're going to do is boost the highs up some more so. why you break me you just play me hey you did it nigga really fucking shady you still love me now you hate me wow sounds insanely crispy if you'd like me to do some more fl studio mixing tutorials smash that like button down below my core trick is to use a multi-band compressor to compress and control the harshness in the top end and add more crispiness we're gonna make the top end a bit more clear with my rap harshness control why you break me you just play me hey you did it nigga really fucking shady so Maximus is a multi-band compressor and I'm able to compress different parts of the vocal. If I want to just focus on the highs, I can hit solo. If I turn up the gain on that, it will only turn up the gain on that high end right there. So that's preventing any harshness coming out and it's adding a bit more crispiness to the top end. My fifth trick is adding a reverb and using it for the top end to give the vocal more clarity. And what we're gonna do is bring this decay up to four seconds and we're just going to move the low cut up to 500 hertz. Why you break me? You just play me. Hey, you did it, nigga, really fucking shady. You still love me, now you hate and then while it's playing, you can adjust the decay knob right here to get it in that same pocket. And this is going to make the vocal really blend in the, with the beat. And people aren't going to be able to hear the reverb. They're just going to hear a clear, crispy vocal that sits on top of the beat. Why you break me? You just play me. Hey, you did it, nigga, really fucking shady. One more thing I also like doing is turning a pre-delay up to about 20 milliseconds, and that's going to make it so the, the vocal bounces with the beat and has a bit more rhythm. Why you break me? You just play me. Hey, you did it, nigga, really fucking shady. You still love me. Now you hate me. Smoking blunts getting high. Yeah, you roll my heart again. Yeah, you broke my heart again. There it is. Thank you for staying to the end. You can download this preset that I made in this video for completely free down below. And if you're interested in watching my nine step process of creating the ultimate vocal chain in FL Studio, you gotta check out this video.